it is time for an unboxing. What's in the T-Mobile bag? Let's find out. Oh. This is the T-Mobile 4G LTE personal cell spot. That was just announced yesterday, officially. Even though there was some buzz about it before that, but it just came out. Let's open it up. Well, let's look at the outer box. Uh, deposit qualifying wireless service, blah 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 blah. That doesn't give any specs. No specs. That's just a sleeve for the box. Put it away. Box, come here. Personal cell spot. 4G LTE cell spot. Box is bigger and heavier than I thought it would be, and it's because there are some extras in here that you didn't exactly tell us would be here. On the top, quick start guide. English and Spanish for those that need it. The English one is actually kind of cool. If you read it, you will actually get an idea of what's about to happen. Um, shows you everything that it comes with. Quick start guides, the cell spot device itself, a stand and wall mount, a wall mounting kit, which is kind of nice that they send that along. AC adapter, GPS antenna and cable, Ethernet cable, and GPS cable bracket. Um, later in here it says to put the GPS uh, antenna as close to a window as possible, which makes sense. Uh, getting to know your cell spot tells you about light codes, or uh, how to reset it, I should say. Light codes are later, what all the ports are for, stand mounting kits. And then it tells you about the quick setup. Connect the cell spot to the internet. The GPS antenna. Power it on. And then you have to let it set up. It can take up to 45 minutes to complete the device setup. It explains what the light codes mean as it's getting going. And once you're solid green, you'll be fine. I don't know why it's not focusing. It just looks to me like it's not focusing. And on the back of this quick start guide, it really gives you a nice troubleshooting guide to tell you what codes are going to mean. So let's put that away. The router coming out of the box. Here's the bad boy. It's in plastic. I don't know if the plastic is open or what. No. Now, I might not be able to set this up tonight because it's not actually attached to my account yet. Um, they weren't able to attach it to my account, but they gave it to me anyway. <clears throat> and they said they would attach it to the account tomorrow. Plastic, throw it away. Here's the thing. It looks identical to what they showed us yesterday. over this. I don't want any of that going out over the internet. And here's the back of it. You'll see there's the GPS port. Well, I don't know why this thing isn't focusing. WAN and LAN, reset, power. Um, where my hand is, is all the codes and everything. Device must be installed at your registered address with T-Mobile. Failure to maintain this address could affect your ability to receive emergency services and result in device deactivation. Blah 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 blah. Which means don't give it to a friend. Okay, right, that's the big guy. Now let's go into the box. So that's not actually any boxing in it. That's just a platform. <clears throat> Ethernet cable looks to be about six feet, I'm guessing. Power adapter. Cord looks to be maybe ten feet. 
wall mounting, wall mounting kit for the bracket, the mounting bracket. This is going to be the GPS antenna. <clears throat> the stand and the GPS bracket if you want to keep your wire clean, which I'm not going to care about. So there's that. Box is empty. It's everything. I'm going to try and hook it up to see if it turns on. And if it does, I'll give it a review tonight.